Hello and welcome to a new video. Uh, we're going to do two exercises uh, about pointers and functions. So we'll start. Here we have a function test and we have a main function. We will start from the main function. What we have is we have a variable x with value one, a variable y with value six. Now, as any variable, we, there are addresses. Assume 100 and 200 are the addresses of x and y then we are calling test. Now the address of y is going to go to the variable x and the value of x, notice the value of x is going to go to the, to the variable y. So inside the test function, x is going to take the address of y. What is the address of y? It's just one, sorry, 200. Uh, and the variable y, now this is, independent from this y because it's a local variable. So the variable y is going to take the value of x, which is just one. Notice again, we are taking the value, not the address. So just one. Now inside the function test, I'm going to execute the first line, which is x equal the address of y. Now, when we say y inside test, I mean, which y? The local y, which is the y that belongs to the test function. Now, this has a totally different address, assume 500. The address of the variable y inside test is different from the address of the variable y inside main. So inside x, I'm going to store 500. All right, then I am returning star x plus y. So what is star x? Remember that x is now storing 500. So what is, um, what is the variable that has the location 500 or the address 500? It is the variable y, which has the value one. So star x in this case is just one plus y. What is y? y is the same as star x, still one. So what is this? This is just two. What am I going to do with, two, with this two? Just return it, okay? So now when I print, when I execute the print statement, I go back to main, I execute the print, and I run, sorry, print x. What is the value of x? Still one, it's untouched basically. What is the value of test um, ampersand y x? This is basically what is returned from this function. And remember we said the function returns two. So I will print one, two, and the variable y. Now, which y? You ask yourself, this is inside main. So I am talking about the y inside main, which is six. When you run the code, See the output, you get one, two, one, two, six. Okay. Let's see the next exercise. You have a main a function and test two. Let's start from the main function. I have a five, b10, and I am calling test two. I'm passing the address of b to the variable a and the value of a to the variable b. Now I am inside test two. A has the value of the address of B. Now assume this is 100, this is 200. These are the addresses again. What is the value of A inside test two? It is the address of B, which is 200. What is the value of B inside test two? Which is the value of A inside main. So B is going to take this five. Okay, no, um, notice the parameter passing here. The first parameter will take the address, second parameter will take the value. What do you do next? You write seven inside star A. Now A itself is 200. So star A means move from 200 to the variable B inside main. What do you do with B? write seven inside that variable. 
Now, what is the next statement? So I'm done with this. Next statement is B equal eight. Now we have two Bs. We have B here and B here. Which one do I change? B in this case is the local variable in test two because I am inside the function test two. Set a pointer, there is no stars. It's just the local variable B. Change it from five to eight. So I am done with the function test two. Go back to the main function and print A, print B. What is A inside the main? Still five. What is B? B is now seven instead of 10. So when I run this code, I see the output is five and seven as expected. I hope this was clear. Thank you for watching.